Hello guys and welcome back to the finale. So obviously I went straight into this battle after the, the last episode. Thankfully we didn't want to change our deck up too much, but it is the finale. Um, I know that last time I called a fake finale basically because I'd forgotten about one of the duels. So we are up against Carrot Idol, we're up against Manawadan, we're up against a lot of crush. Is it going to crush our dreams today? We hope not. So yeah, so I haven't looked at our hand as of yet. I did head into this battle by accident at the end of the last duel. So let's see what we have to work with. So we've got a bunch of traps. We are going to want to maybe make the most of these um, before he gets a royal decree down on the field. So maybe we will send out a Tears of the Mermaid. Um, and then we're going to have to basically send cards around him until we're able to look at him advancing in on us um, until we're able to to get rid of some of this crushed terrain it's going to possibly be a, a, a duel of the terrains um, you know if we're able to get cosmo queen out and create yami that's going to seriously help us we do have a dark hole as well um, so yeah we've got we've got a few options um, so let's let's drop down shadow of eyes Ideally, we want to create as much um, as much dark terrain as we possibly can. Okay, so he does have a royal decree out. We will want to get rid of that. We do have dark hole. So possibly we just play that dark hole right now. We are going to lose our shadow of eyes, unfortunately. Um, or maybe we just keep Dark Hole for now and then see if we can advance and get rid of Royal Decree with one of our magic cards. Or even a monster, just anything that can attack over that. Okay, so Slate Warrior is going to come for us. Yeah, we don't really have too much to work with. Um, are we going to have to sacrifice a Skull Knight? Maybe we do, but then we are able to to do a decent amount of life point damage against him. It is going to create more crush terrain. Okay, yeah, so he's just simply not going to attack in on us. Yeah, this is this is tough again. Um, Oh, this guy is so difficult to play against. So difficult. See, I'm worried about him attacking over our Dark Hole. Do we just play Dark Hole and reset this field? Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's just simply play Dark Hole. I know that we're losing a Skull Knight and we're losing a Shadow of Eyes. But we're getting rid of Royal Decree. And rather that and use our Dark Hole than him attack over us with Dark Hole. We can send a Widespread Ruin out in the meantime. He should attack in on that and then we'll destroy whatever whatever he summons on us on the next turn. I feel like we have to be pretty offensive against this guy. Okay, so we blew up whatever that was. Let's see what is in his graveyard currently. So we got rid of a Slate Warrior, a Rigorous Lever, um, Soul Eater, Royal Decree, and then another Soul Eater. So actually, we haven't gotten rid of many of his powerful cards. We didn't get rid of Moisture Creatures or anything like that. So that does kind of suck. I mean, luckily at this point, he doesn't have Royal Decree out, so... That is already a big bonus for us. Okay, so we are able to create a Spirit of the Books and start strengthening him. Of course, any battle, we're basically going to lose him because it's going to create Crushed Terrain. And we can't attack in on this guy with Crushed Terrain either. So, so yeah, so we'll have to see. We're going to need to get him to, to come out onto... Yeah, so there's Moisture Creature, dangerous. Um, we're we're going to need him to come out from the crushed terrain as much as we can. We've obviously slowed down Moisture Creature at least. Okay, so Magic Drain, that sucks for us because we've now lost 9 stars worth of summoning power. 
Okay, there's our Shape Snatch. Um, I think the Mega Morph is going to be a waste because it's not going to actually keep any of that on the field. If I like, it's, it's not going to keep that because it's just going to copy his deck leader's attack and defense. So let's drop down Dark Piercing Light in case we need to use it at some point. Let's move these guys. There is a danger of him summoning and attacking Buku, which I didn't think of. But we'll see. We'll see what he does summon. Okay, so he's not going to attack into Buku, thank goodness. So we can actually just drop down our Shape Snatch, which might be useful. So maybe we'll just pop that. No, as soon as we pop into defense, he's going to take our statistics. So let's move Shape Snatch into there, and maybe we are able to flip it face up and get a direct attack in on him, even though that is only going to do half damage. Um, hmm. Okay, let's move these guys back so that they're out of attack range. And we'll just stay in this spot for now. I mean, it is slow progress at this point. I don't know what trap cards this guy has. Okay, so he has another Spirit of the Books. So possibly we just, just in case of a mirror force, we keep these guys in defense mode. We'll put down Spirit of the Books. Also keep it in defense mode. Flip up this Buku into face up defense mode. We can then attack in on Moisture Creature as well if we need to. Um, to slow it down or do we just take the direct damage? I think we take the 1550 points of direct Because either way, yeah, I think we just take the direct damage because either way this guy is not gonna be able to defeat shape snatch in any case So even when he can move again uh, Yeah, let's let's just go for that Shape snatch really comes out clutch in this duel like any immortal. Oh, okay, so Ryoku, this might be a problem for us. Okay, so super strong soul eater. Okay, so obviously we... That does put us in a pretty bad position. Especially because we have used a lot of our traps. And yeah, we don't have too much that we're able to... To take that on with. Ooh, this guy is always a tough duel, like he's always, he's always a problem. We may have to just keep these Bukus here to block him from getting to our deck leader. Um, we're going to have to watch that Soul Eater as much as we possibly can. I mean, it's got a lot of power. And yeah, Moisture Creature is barreling down towards us. Okay, so luckily with Moisture Creature being light, he does get spellbound by all of our dark monsters. Which is a massive help. There's another Ryoku that's been played. I mean, Dian Keto would be great right now. I mean, yeah, all we have is a Niwatori, unfortunately. So we're going to want to strengthen... Okay, we do have Destiny Draw open to us as well. Um, so, let's do this. I know that we need to be advancing in on this guy, but I want to create another Spirit of the Books. So that we can basically strengthen our own Spirit of the Books, that we can hopefully advance in on this guy. And we need to watch our life points desperately. Um, so maybe on the next turn I will play that Dark Piercing Light so that we can see what we're up against. The problem is if this guy has a life point damaging card, then we're in trouble in any case. And with Soul Eater being Earth, we're not we're basically not gonna be stunning him. Okay, let's see what Destiny Draw is gonna present to us. Ooh, it's our very own Ryoku. Ooh. Okay, so we are... 
Oof, you see, moisture creature is an issue, so we're gonna maybe need to wait for... Okay, so Spirit of the Books can move comfortably. Um, see, because we can play our Dark Magician with that Ryoku, as well as Dark Energy and these Megamorphs to make him super powerful, but we're gonna need to be able to do that possibly on the next turn to get rid of Soul Eater. Let's flip up Dark Piercing Light, see what cards he has. Okay, so he has a couple of... Ooh, Jowls of Dark Demise. Really cool model on this guy as well. Like, you, a lot of the Immortals, you can't really see the models super well, but like, this guy's really gross, but it doesn't look like his card art at all, and that's the case with a lot of the Immortals. Okay, so he has played another two Royal Decrees, <laughs> which sucks for us. I'm okay, yeah, so we'll we'll hold off with the with this Ryoku. I mean, either that, or we have to play it on one of these Spirit of the Books, but the problem is that then we move it into Immortal, and that's going to be the case in any case, right? So, so maybe we just play it. That's going to give him... Is it going to give him enough? So, 1,225 is going to be added. So, yeah, so it will be enough to get rid of Soul Eater, but we are going to then lose a Spirit of the Books. Which I guess is fine. So, yeah, so let's do that. Spirit of the Books is going to sacrifice himself, unfortunately. And we are going to lose our other Spirit of the Books because of the Crush Terrain. But it's fine, it is what it is. At this point, he wouldn't have been able to advance in any case, so it frees up another monster slot for us. Okay, and then he's got 900 points left. We can keep Buku in defense mode. Hopefully, Moisture Creature will attack in on that and Spellbind himself, and then Spirit of the Books will be able to do decent damage come the next turn, because we can then also strengthen him with Mega Morph. So let's see what, what Mana Wadan is going to do here. Yeah, so he is going to attack in on Moisture Creature. Who is going to get Spellbound. Jowls of Dark Demise is going to be dangerous. Okay, so we know that that's not a trap. So, are we going to be able to take this guy out for the unbeaten run here? So, if I move forward... We take Spirit of the Books, we attach two Megamorphs to him. And we attack in on Moisture Creature. Yes, this should be the win. Oh, it's the win, guys. Yes. Create more and more Crush Terrain. And we did this without even utilizing Yami. Spirit of the Books is going to get sacrificed, unfortunately, but we did it. Against all odds, with the help of a Destiny draw, we have taken down Manawadan. Nimitori has been demoted, sadly, because <laughs> he just gets thrown to the graveyard constantly. Um, and we do actually get a slot machine here, so we'll get Mega Morph or Magic Drain as a choice. So... Okay, so we'll go for Mega Morph, I guess. And we'll get Magic Drain, of course we will. So it doesn't really matter what the next one is. There's a fake diagonal three in a row. And there we go. That is it, guys. That was super short. That was a lot shorter than I thought that the duel was going to be. But yeah, that is it. So Manowadan has been defeated. We do achieve our... I'm going to just... Uh, let me just select that. I'm going to speed through this. So, yeah, so we achieve our victory. Can you believe it? Um, yeah, there we go. Blah, 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 blah. And we do want to save. And there we go. So that is the end of it. And I'm super happy with that deck. Like, I don't know about you guys, but I had a, I had a great time. I had a really, really good time. Um, I'm actually just going to drop the volume on the... I don't know why my, my background videos are somewhat somewhat quiet 
or um, not somewhat quiet, somewhat um, sticky for whatever reason, like the like the video lags a bit. Um, but yeah, I had a really good time with that deck. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. It was a it was a pretty fun playthrough. I think we managed to get some three in a rows. Uh, eventually <laughs> i know it's taken me a a long time um to to you know come right with those three in a rows but yeah i had a i had, I had a super fun time with this deck i honestly think that what i'm going to do is this save file is going to be what i might use on um on live streams so what i'd like to do with live streams um, i'm basically going to chat for a little bit um, i understand if you guys click away from the video um but i'd, I'd like to make it a little bit longer because we've only been recording for 15 minutes i don't want it to be super obvious that we've beaten um that we that we managed to beat uh the final boss on the first attempt so yeah so basically what i want to do is i want to i want to live stream um obviously this game would be super fun to live stream um and it, it makes the the more grindy stuff uh pretty enjoyable i guess so so yeah because then i can chat with you guys and it's not quite as boring as just watching me grind in a video so i could then use this to create alternative decks so we would have our, th our two other deck slots that we can play around with different decks we can grind cards we can play around and grind out three in a rows um you know we can basically get a three in a row after every duel and see what we get and and just have a good time and fill our card library with this deck so so maybe i'll do that um but yeah so that's going to basically end this playthrough I've been juggling a few ideas of what to do next. I do think it might be a good idea for my next playthrough to be a different game. Um, I know that I juggled that idea the last time and I ended up coming back to this in any case. But I do think that, oh, let me turn off the, uh, the frame limiter real quick. Uh, there we go. So we'll turn on the frame limiter rather. So yeah, um, I think come the next come the next playthrough i'm probably going to do a, i'm possibly going to do a pokemon nuzlocke i think that is the that is the next play um, but there's so many games that i've got that i'm thinking of there's um there's that to keep with the card battle theme there's a digimon card battle which would be pretty fun an old game it's an oldie but a goodie um and then obviously with uh with with live streaming it could be fun to just continue this game i have also been thinking of an alternative challenge with the with duelist of the roses and that would be to literally start the redux but do a playthrough and the only monster that we are allowed to use um would then okay obviously we'll we'll, we'll have to have monsters in our in our deck but the only monster that we're actually allowed to use in in battle would be the exodia pieces so every victory has to come from the exodia pieces now i know that that is probably a pretty crazy thing to to try and attempt we would basically need to surrender 25 times to get all five pieces from reincarnations before it can really begin but i think that could be a pretty fun challenge to do and see if it is even possible with a starting deck to to be able to pull that off and be able to get through the entire game uh, using only only exodia and getting your victories with only exodia so i'll see um i think i am like i said going to take a break and do a pokemon uh possibly a pokemon nuzlocke um to to just break up the you know we, we, we don't want to play the same game over and over and over again so i hope you guys would enjoy that as well so i hope to see you there um and yeah and for now i'm gonna save this very successful challenge run it's been so much fun thank you to everyone who has supported me and for everyone who is coming along with my journeys i really appreciate you guys so so much um and yeah everyone who is subscribed to me i appreciate it every time i wake up in the morning and i see a a new subscriber on the channel it means so so much um it's you know that that, that someone made a decision to subscribe that day uh it, it it's you know it, it, it's really it's a nice motivation and it keeps me making the videos each and every day so thank you so much to all of you um and yeah until the next time until whatever the the next series or videos are whatever those hold um i hope to see you guys there and until then bye for now <laughs>